Hey guys, I am back to my normal setup. I was not really happy with the lighting in that video. I felt like when I brightened it up, the walls or the closet doors were like extra bright and I still wasn't that bright. So it was a little annoying. So I'm back to my normal spot until I can figure things out a little bit more. But today I am going to be ranking all of the things that I tried in April and I have 17 products to be reviewing for you guys. Some of them are like grouped together and there's nothing here that is a fail. I have some things that are like meh. I like them. I don't love them. I'd be okay if I didn't have them in my collection. And then I have a few products and I'm like, oh, I really like these and I'm not obsessed. And then I have some things where I'm like absolutely over the moon in love with them. So my bottom product of the month might be a surprise to you guys because a lot of people really love it. And this would be the Kaleidos Blue Agave Softening Lip Mask. I don't think this is all that special. So it has really no scent to it, which is fine. You can see I have used a decent amount. This is super soft. So don't just like shove your finger in there because it's going to get all over the place. This is a thinner consistency. It has some shimmer in it, but I don't find it to be irritating on the lips. But basically, I don't find this to be all that hydrating either. No, it, it's just not that hydrating. But something that I've been using for a couple months now that I think is much better is actually the ColourPop lip mask. And this is one from the Rudolph collection. It is called Clarice and it's like a light sweet mint kind of scent and i've used a good bit of this one as well this consistency is just a little bit richer a little thicker more cushiony and i feel like is more hydrating to my lips and stays around for a little bit longer so if i had to pick one i'd pick the ColourPop. kaleidos comes with 7.5 grams and ColourPop comes with 12 grams which this is like a lot this is actually more than i would want i know it's better value or whatever but that's a lot of lip masks to get through and then I do love my Laneige Lip Sleepy Mask better than this one as well too. So I'm glad I got this as a freebie with my order. I will use it, but not all that special. And then at number 16, I have another Kaleidos product. That would be their highlighters. And these are all really pretty duochrome highlights. They do have some others that I am interested in, but Make It With Mariella sent these to me, which was amazing. I was so excited to try them. And we've got skywalker here which is a blue duochrome solar sailor is yellow mars melter is pink and then star surfer is like a lighter shade with a pink reflect where this one is just like a pink duochrome they're a little bit different so we have star surfer mars melter solar sailor and skywalker Star Surfer, Mars Melter, Solar Sailor, Skywalker. So the two pinky shades, I hope you can tell that Star Surfer is a little lighter, has a little bit more shimmer in it. That one's a little bit more white based, where Mars Melter is really just like a light pink color. You can see how yellow Solar Sailor is, and then Skywalker is very blue, and Skywalker is the one that I like the least and I find this one on the cheeks to actually look a little bit glittery which I don't love and I think I layered this on top of something else so maybe if I didn't the base would have stuck down a little bit better but it just did not look smooth on the skin and I would say to get Ofra Space Baby over this one if you're wanting a blue duochrome because that one is a lot softer on the cheeks this one just like you can see the glitter particles it's not as smooth it doesn't sit as pretty i do like solar sailor but it is like very yellow almost yellow green so i just have to be careful with it and then these two are definitely my favorite the easiest for me to wear i think i like star surfer a little bit more but very pretty and i know that they've repackaged these and changed some of the colors like mars or might be a different shade so i don't know if the formula has changed along the way as well or just the packaging and some of the shades so let me know if you guys know but it was really fun to try these out and if you guys saw my monthly declutter you'll know that i am getting rid of skywalker i'm keeping the other ones for now but i was hoping to like them a little bit more than i do i just think ofra 
Cloud9 Space Baby are really nice duochrome shades that have a really great smooth finish. Next set number 15 is something I really do need to try more and these are also from Kaleidos, the Cloud Lab Lip Clay. I have the shade Bare, which let me just go ahead and swatch these. Very pretty. And I love the applicator, it's that little triangle shape. And it has that little well in the center to pick up extra product. And then the other color I have is Pink Moon. And all of the other shades in the range are just too dark for me or too cool toned. So I would have liked some other options because even the nude color looks a little bit more terracotta on me. But I actually am wearing Pink Moon over top of another lipstick today, another liquid lipstick. And it works really well on top of other formulas. I do think that this is a very comfortable liquid lipstick because it's super moussey and creamy. It's different than I expected, but it's very comfortable. I just am not in love with the shades that I chose and their shade selection as a whole, but this is a really interesting formula and I would love to pick some up again in the future if they come up with some lighter shades. And then at number 14, unfortunately, is another Kaleidos product. This is their Lo-Fi Duo Blusher in Lo-Fi Peach. I wanted this so bad. So many people had showed this on Instagram and these have been discontinued for a little while now. Makeup with Mariella did declutter this to me, which was so exciting. Thank you so much, Mariella. So I use this as a blush and this as like a blush topper slash highlighter. It's a pretty color. And this one is like very peachy pink. And then the blush is a matte blush. Very pretty. I do like them. So there's what they look like. But basically nothing super special. I have other blushes similar shade to that one so I know I will reach for this and I do like it and I do still want the rose shade from these duos but I'm not gonna like pay an arm and a leg to get it essentially but it is very pretty and I do like the formula and my last like meh product would be the Too Faced 2 Femme Palette. I'm wearing it on my eyes today Here's what this looks like. I didn't use all of the colors, but I did use most of them. And these shades here are nice and metallic, but you do need to layer them up. I would use more of a sticky base or a cream shadow underneath because they're a little bit flaky. So because of that, it can like draw attention to some of the texture on your lids. I don't necessarily mind that though. So I do like those shades. I do think the mattes are nice and buildable and blendable for the more neutral shades but like this matte here is a lighter one i did have to build it up quite a bit and the day i wore it i didn't even really try to blend it because i knew it was going to be a mess i just really tried to build it up and i just have a hard time in general with matte minty colors or minty blues i've tried several and have a hard time and this one was better so i do think that this is a nice palette i got mine for like 16 dollars, which is a great price I would say don't purchase it for any more than that though. I do not love this as much as the Teddy Bear palette. Unfortunately, I don't regret buying this because of the good deal I got it on, but if I would have gotten this just 20% off or something, I would have been disappointed. So this is definitely not something that you need, but I did get some really pretty looks out of it. And these next four products, I do really like them, but I'm not obsessed. They aren't necessarily things that for now that I can see myself repurchasing, but I will be excited to use them. And at number 12 is the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in Magic Hour. I do think this is a really pretty color, a nice like glowy finish, but I have similar blushes. Nothing about this is super special. I do like a lot of things I've tried from M Cosmetics, but I'm trying to take away that I want to just like try every new product. That's how I feel about M Cosmetics and persona and i'm trying to like hold back although persona i've been happy with everything that i've tried from them and m cosmetics too for the most part but they're a little bit more expensive and this is a nice blush but i want to try to like resist buying too many more but those limited edition shades that they released i really do wish i got those but anyway pretty color good formula but nothing super special 
And then at number 11, we have the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I am wearing Light Zero Siberia. I'm wearing this today. It is a little bit light for me, so I definitely do need to set it not with just my Derma Blend loose powder because that will make me look extra light. And the mixture I did with my powder today I thought was a little dark, so then I went in with like a lighter pressed powder on top and I think I went with a little too much. But this is a nice foundation. I would say that this has probably more of a medium coverage. I feel like one layer is like light and then I can build it up to get it to be about medium and it wears fine. I don't know, I was just expecting a little bit more. And I've tried a lot of skin tints recently and this definitely does give more coverage than a skin tint, but it has more of a skin tint feel. So I do see why a lot of people like this. I did mix this one day with my NARS Soft Matte Complete Coverage Foundation and it basically just like thinned that texture out a little bit, but that other one gave this more pigment. So this is a nice foundation. I do like this, I'm happy to have it, but I'm not like, whoa, like I thought I would be. And then next at number 10, we have the M Cosmetics Lip Cushion in Magic Hour. And this is a nice creamy lip crayon formula. I like the size of this because it's easy to fill in your lips with this. This is a really nice creamy, since we're swatching, this is like a sheer buildable coverage. That was a couple passes right there. It has a really glossy finish, not super long lasting, but it's so pretty. And I think this is a great natural slap it on kind of color for me that goes with a lot of makeup looks. I really loved it when I wore it the other day. So very happy with this color and formula. I have three of these, but again, I need to like not go crazy because they're not that amazing, but they're good. I just think if M Cosmetics brought their prices of all their products down by like four or five dollars, I would be like all for it, but they're just a little much. And they don't have sales that often, but I would subscribe to their emails because they do have free gifts often with like $50 purchases or like bundle deals, which is exciting. And next for number nine, we have the KVD Good Apple Concealer. I never tried the foundation. I'm glad I didn't because that would not have worn well on my oily skin. And I have the color Light 105, which has like a neutral undertone. I really love the applicator. I just think it's very cool. I get enough product for me to do under my eyes, down the center of my face. I sometimes will go back in with a little bit more for the center of my face, but this gives great medium to full coverage. It blends out nicely. It does have like a satin matte finish. It creases on me a little bit, but Basically, I just really make sure to blend out all those creases before I set it, but it wears really nicely. I like this a lot. So it's something, I this is something that I actually might purchase again in the future. I really haven't used my Tarte Shape Tape in a long time, which was my favorite. So I really want to try that out compared to some other things I've been loving recently to see if it still reigns supreme. But this is really good. This is something that I probably would buy again. And then we're getting more into like the favorites territory and we do have some Kaleidos things that are ranking towards the top, okay? So here would be their Futurism palette, the Sashimi City, which would be the more neutral one. And I got this because it's just Steph really loves it. And the two shimmers in here are duochrome shades and they're so special. So this is a really pretty pink duochrome and this one has a little bit of a green to it. I don't love this color here. I wish that this was just like a different peachy shade or it's too similar to be in here with this one, although I like the undertone of this one a little bit more. I don't love the undertone of this. I feel like this could be a little more pinky or peach. I guess it goes with this one that flashes green a little bit more, but the formula of these are amazing. The duochromes really stand out. They're super special. I love them so much. I really like this salmon color. Very pretty palette. I liked the two looks that I made with it. Next at number seven, we have the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. I think the packaging is so pretty, but I absolutely despise that the top comes off. And I actually nicked one of my shadows because of the freaking packaging, which was so annoying. It's so pretty though. I love the design. If it was just attached like a Milk Cosmetics palette, I think it would be just perfect. Cause who's taking this? This was silly, okay? That was silly. Sometimes you don't have to be that different, you know what I mean? But here are the colors inside. 
and to a baby shower like a crazy person. I'll have to put my makeup of the day down below. I wore these four shades here. Excuse me, I was obsessed with the look. I can't believe it. I was so afraid of this chlorophyll shade, but I used a light amount as a transition shade and it blended very nicely. And then I did Golden Age as my crease color, Earthship as like my outer corner liner shade. And this Sun Gazer, oof. Their shimmers are so good. They have a nice like thickness to them, very foiled, very metallic, like not dusty at all, just woo, pigmented and gorgeous. So I was so surprised. I thought I'm not really gonna use those colors that much. Amazing, amazing, I loved them so much. And then I did create two looks with these other shades here. So Mint Fever, is a, is a deeper shade, let me be careful, I don't jack up the palette, than the mint in the Too Faced. You can see there, deeper and more green. And same thing with that, I really, really had to sit there and build it up. I did, I think, use this matte peachy pink very lightly as a transition color, but I really, really, really had to sit there and build it up with a dense brush, but I think that's just the nature of the shadows. All of the other ones, I think, perform so well, and this shade here looks like a just like a pink right but it does have a light pinky purple flip and also some like yellow green so beautiful this one is probably like the most duochrome in here and when you swatch them they do look different i love the kaleidos eyeshadow formula so good i hope they continue to come out with more palettes because i'm down to try almost all of them but this one is very very good i'd heard some people say they didn't like this as much as their other formula but i thought it was just as good and i just loved that green look so much which really surprised me and then next at number six is my other kaleidos palette that i've tried i do have one more that i haven't used yet and this is lunar lavender i don't love that dark color i do think it's good to have in here for people with deeper skin tones to be able to mix. I like this shade. I think this has enough like purple in it that it goes with these other ones. This one, I feel like the under, it's like a little too brown, I don't know. The undertone I feel like could be a little bit different to make it mix better. These shimmers, like you can see how blue of reflect this one has. It doesn't look like that in person, but like super blue reflect this one is more pinky. These two matte purples worked so well and a lot of matte purples do not work well on me. They were not patchy. They blended so nicely. I was so impressed with the quality of these. And these shimmers are amazing. I really liked this one. And basically how I use this one is that I lined my lower lash line with it and then blended it out with that color. So really for both of the Futurism palettes, just like the two darker shades, I would like the undertones to be a little bit different, but I was incredibly impressed with the formula of those purples. And for some reason with this one, the little sheet comes out, but I need to keep it to be able to tell you guys the shade names. And then we have my top five products, which are definitely favorites. At number five was a huge surprise to me. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Adore. I am not seeing this one as available for individual purchase, which is annoying. I had gotten this with a liquid lipstick as a birthday gift and I had actually planned on decluttering it and then I hadn't passed it on yet and decided to try it and I really like it. I think this is more of their matte finish. It's a really pretty pink color and I just put a couple dots in the back of my hand and you know kind of blended it with a round end of a beauty blender sponge and then just pounced it on my cheeks. It worked so well. It didn't pick up my foundation or anything and it just looks gorgeous. I would love, I'm not gonna go crazy with other shades, but the lightest peachy color Bliss, I think I would really like. So if they release that in a mini or in a set, depending on what else is included in the set, I might be tempted to pick it up. But it was easy to work with. I was so, so surprised by how much I like this, but I really do. So glad I didn't declutter it. And then at number four, is an M Cosmetics product that I do love. And this is the So Soft Blush in Lychee. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. This is something that I think you need to put on before you set your face. So I am wearing a powder foundation to work and I've been using the Tower 28 cream blushes and the Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur and it goes over top nicely. Girl, this did not. It would not blend over top of that and then it looked patchy, was not cute at all. But if I apply this before I set my skin, it's so gorgeous. It's very pigmented, a nice creamy formula, but not too 
dewy or slippery or greasy. I love this color and I really like this formula. I don't necessarily think I need to try anymore. I think I picked the perfect one for me, but really nice. Next at number three would be the Flower Beauty Desert Lights Palette. And look at this. I use them all except this darker color and I wore this to work. I picked a different shade to wear each day to work and these are so shimmery and foiled and pigmented they don't require a lot of layering and I either with the more pinky shades I mixed some mattes from the ColourPop Lush Crush palette and then with like the warmer tone shades I of course used my Anastasia Birkin and Bengal such amazing lid shades for like day-to-day -day looks I highly recommend this I don't think I want to get the Jungle Lights palette because I don't know if I'd wear all those shades. Some of them are a little dark for me, but I might. But I would love for her to release more of these because the formula is incredible. And I have enough mattes. Like, I do not mind an all shimmer palette. I highly recommend that one. And it's not come broken, which was surprising and amazing. Then this is something that I wore with the green Kaleidos eyeshadows. And this is a Tower 28 Milky Lip Jelly. I got this in the holiday set. It was a limited edition shade. I hope they will bring this back and make it permanent. And this is the color Chestnut. It's a super gorgeous, like orangey, warm, slightly brown color. And this one does have shimmer in it. And I wanted to swatch it next to Cashew. And this is the best lip gloss formula. I would love for them to release more shades. I think that they're just incredible, so smooth. These have like a medium opacity. They're not super long wearing, but I don't mind. Tower 20 is also a pretty affordable brand for Sephora. So here we have Chestnut and here is Cashew. So Chestnut definitely has more orange in it. You can see the nice high shine. Just the best gloss formula ever, and I'm so glad I got that shade. And then at number one would be the best cream bronzer I've ever used, formula and color-wise, and that would be the M Cosmetics So Soft Bronzer in Summer. This is a great warm shade on me that is not too orange. I have Dune from Persona, which is a little bit orange, and then the Rare Beauty bronzers, now I can't remember which one. Power Boost I think is a little too olive on me and then Happy Soul is a little too red. But this is just the perfect depth, the perfect undertone. I also think this would look great on people that have a deeper complexion than me, but I apply a little bit under foundation, then I'll put foundation on, then take a brush and just apply a little bit more. Amazing formula, perfect color. I love this so much. I'm so glad I tried this. If you are like me and have a hard time finding just a good undertone, let me swatch it. This is just good. It's warm without being orange, not red, not olive. It's just perfect for a bronzer color. And then they have Terra, which is more cool tone for contouring, which I do think would be great for people. I'm just not interested in that. Let me swatch Lychee while I'm at it. There it is there. Oh, these are so good. So guys, those are all of the products that I tested and wanted to review for you for the month of April. So many hits here, no fails, just some things that I'm like meh about. I would love to hear your thoughts on all these products in the comments down below. And I would love to hear your thoughts on the things that you've tried recently. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.